My name is Dr. Laura Stone. I am an emergency physician here at Sioux Area Hospital. We, as frontline staff in the emergency department and hospital, wanted to reach out today and speak directly with our community. We want to let you know what we are doing to prepare for taking care of you during the COVID-19 pandemic. And more importantly, I am here to ask for your help as a community because we cannot do this alone. We have an incredible team here at Sioux Area Hospital and are working extremely hard to prepare for COVID-19. We anticipate, as we are seeing around the world, that within our community, we will have a large number of people affected by this virus. Many people will come to the emergency department seeking care and will require admission to the hospital. Our team is working tirelessly to increase the number of beds, secure equipment, and ensure resources are available for both patients and staff during this crisis. In our emergency department, we are making some major changes to how our physical space is laid out to be able to see far more patients than we are used to seeing. We are going to separate people with COVID symptoms from those who do not have COVID symptoms immediately as patients arrive to try to limit the spread of this virus as much as possible. We are working very hard on logistics to keep our patients safe, our staff safe, and our community safe. The COVID-19 Assessment Center's purpose is to assess and, only where appropriate, swab people who may have been exposed to COVID-19, with the goal of minimizing the significant number of patients presenting themselves to the emergency department. This COVID-19 Assessment Center is by appointment only. Although we are doing everything we possibly can, we still need your help. We expect to get into a situation where we will not have enough resources to take care of our patients the way we normally would. The situation is not unique to Sault Ste. Marie. This is happening throughout the world and across the country. I tell you this not to create panic, but to ensure you understand and appreciate the seriousness of this situation. On behalf of my nursing and physician colleagues, you are our loved ones. You are our family, our friends, and our neighbors. That is the beauty of Sault Ste. Marie. We want to keep you safe. For this reason, the most important thing we can do is prevent the spread of this virus within our city in the first place. Now is the time for our incredible community to come together. If we work together, we can save lives. To do this, we need prevention, and the time for prevention is right now. As people return from March break and vacation outside of our community, welcome home, but please stay home. You must avoid contact with others outside of your home for 14 days. This necessary preventative action is to protect your loved ones and our community because you may have come into contact with the COVID-19 virus while traveling. To everyone in our community, including those who have not traveled, it does not matter whether or not you have symptoms. Some people, especially younger children, can still be infected by the virus and spread the virus even if they feel well. In order for us to save lives in our community, you must do the following. Please stay home, except to get essentials like groceries. If you must go out, maintain social distancing of at least two meters or six feet. Work from home if at all possible. Do not go to social gatherings, children's play dates, or birthday parties. Children are very high risk for spreading this virus. If you need help, reach out to family, friends, or neighbors who can drop off groceries and necessities at your door. Wash your hands frequently. If you do develop symptoms and are unsure of what to do, please stay home and call the COVID-19 Assessment Centre or Algoma Public Health. Please do not call 911 unless it is an emergency. We will get through this together. We here at Sioux Area Hospital will continue working as hard as we possibly can to prepare to take care of you. But we cannot do this alone. We need your help. You are the ones who are going to make a difference and save the life of your loved one by following these measures. In order to keep people safe within our community, we need prevention and the time for prevention is right now. Thank you.